Hi folks, so the questions we're going on to today guys come under the topic of geological geometry or road geometry sometimes as it's known as and these questions are out of the DCG workbook, uh, they are on sheet 6 okay and it's actually it says earthworks embankments and another word for embankments that this would always uh, often be known as as well is fills okay it's called cuts and fills and fills are where Basically, we have a road that is at a certain height and then the land around it is lower than the height of the road. And what we need to do is we need to fill up to that road so obviously that the road is stable. Okay, so I'm just going to read the question and then I'm going to use a little kind of drawing here to, uh, to explain it. So it says here, question one, the map shows ground contours at 10 meter vertical intervals. Okay, and we can see here our scale is 1 is to 1000. So straight away there, we kind of need to work out our magic number. So in the space provided here, okay, essentially one millimeter on our sheet is equal to 1000 millimeters in reality, okay? So one millimeter on the sheet, one mm, okay? And I'm just gonna say on, which stands for on sheet, okay? I should say, sorry, os, apologies. So on sheet is equal to 1000, or is to 1000, sorry, millimeters, and that's in reality. So I'd say IR there. Okay? So uh, on sheet and then in reality. So what we have to do is if the vertical intervals are at 10 meter spacings, we have to work up to uh, 10 meters here. And we know 1000 millimeters is equal to 1 meter. So obviously 10,000 millimeters is equal to 10 meters. Therefore, all I did was I multiplied this by 10, therefore my one millimeter now is also 10 millimeters. And that's kind of our magic number that we're going to be using, okay? So it all has to do with the scale and obviously the vertical interval spacing. So if these were five, it might be a little bit different. And obviously then if this was maybe one is to 500 and so forth, okay? Now, we'll read the rest of the question. It says, AB is the center line of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 60 meters. So first of all, AB is a roadway that is level at an altitude of 60 meters. So that roadway is going to be at a height, level, altitude, at, it's a little at symbol there, 60 meters. Okay. So essentially, that road there is 60 meters from A to B, okay? It doesn't incline, it doesn't decline, it's at constant height of 60 meters. Okay, now what I've drawn over here, guys, is essentially this roadway and its height there we know is 60 meters high. So I'm just going to put in 60 meters. That's how high the road is at this height up here, okay? And obviously, the height of the road drops then the further you go down. Okay, this is like I took a cut section profile and this is a slice through the road and that's the top of the road where all our cars drive. Okay, now it also says using side slopes of one in one for our embankments or otherwise known as fills. Okay, so the fill ratio is one is to one. So I would write that in as well. Use the space here to kind of um, fill in your uh, information. So fill ratio one in one. Okay, so that's going to be important to us. Complete the artworks on the southern side of the road, so down here, necessary to accommodate the roadway. So essentially what we're going to have to do is, the road is at a height of 60 meters, and what we need to do is, because that road is at a height and the land down here is obviously a lot lower than it, we're going to have to basically fill up to that road, okay? And we're obviously going to have to fill that up with earth or whatever material it is that's going to keep that road stable at that height of 60 meters. So what we need to do is we're going to use that fill ratio. So what this means here is for every one meter I go down, I'm going to go out one meter. And we obviously know here our magic number is 10. So we're going to multiply everything by 10. So what this actually means is using 10, for every 10 meters, okay, for every 10 meters I go down, so I'll put a little arrow, that means I also go 10 meters out. Okay, so for every 10 meters down, so 60 10 meters down would be 50. Okay, so watch this. We're going to put in a little triangle here to help us explain. So let's say this was 50 here. Okay, at that height right there, that is where my 50 is. And then for that 50, so for that 10 that I go down there, I also have to move out 10. 
Okay, so if you think of this is almost working out at 45 degree angle, so that distance out is 10 there as well. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm putting in a little triangle there like that. And that is going to be the slope of the embankment, okay, that's going to fill up to my road. So I've obviously traveled down 10 there, and I've also traveled out 10 here. Okay, so at that point there, that's going to be our embankment. Now, if I have to keep filling that until it obviously meets then the profile down here or our land. So the next then I would travel down another 10 meters. At this point now it's out 50, or sorry, it's down to the 40 mark. And because I've gone down 20, I also go out 20. So that was the first 10. And there's the second 10. So as you can see, it's basically continuing on. So now we've traveled out 10, 20. And we've also gone down 10, 20. And as you can see, this is just going to continue on, continue on until it eventually meets the land. Now we'll be at the 30. And once again, follow it down. So you can see here, it's kind of just building up. This one will go out. And then just going to estimate as best I can. And at this point here, it's going to travel out. And as you can see, once again, that is also going to continue on. So at this point now, we've gone down 10, 20, 30, and we've traveled out 10, 20, 30. And that's going to keep going down until it obviously meets the land down here. So what we have to do is we have to represent that now on our sheet. And to be able to do that, what you always have to remember is, in this sheet here, we're always focusing on the bird's eye view. So if we're looking down on top of it, in that direction, okay, looking down on top of it, obviously we see the road, okay, that's the width of the road there, which is the width of the road here, okay, as we look down on top of it, we cannot tell the distance that it's dropping down, we cannot tell that, but we can tell the distance it is traveling out from the road, okay, so we can mark these lines, which we know are out 10 meters, and 10 meters on our sheet is equal to 10 millimeters okay in uh, sorry 10 meters in reality is equal to 10 millimeters on our sheet so what we're going to do is for the 50 we're going to measure out 10 millimeters for the 40 we're going to measure out 20 and for the 30 we're going to measure out 30 and so on so that's what we're going to do and we're just working on the southern side of the road so from this edge here this edge on the road i'm going to mark down measurements of 10 okay so i'm just going to start at the six so mark at the five then I'll mark at the four, three, and yeah, I'll keep going, two, one, and just to mark them, now we know the road is at a height of 60, so at this point right here it's 60, at this point here I have 50, 40, 30, 20, and I need one more, oh, I have it there yet, 10. So just to mark those, they are spaced 10 millimeters apart. And what I'm going to do now is simply project my lines across. So for the first one, which is at 60, that is actually going to be a point on the road where the 60 contour cuts through. That gives us a point right here. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to project across the 50. Okay. And we can see the 50 contours there. So I'll just come into the next one. And that's going to give me a point here. Do the same with the 40. Which we'll go to the next one. I'm just going to give me a point here. Likewise with 30. <clears throat> just gives me a point here. And then 20 is going to give me two points. So I'll travel across to here. And the 20 is going to give me a point here and here. And then finally, the 10. And that's going to give me a point here and here. And what we've actually shown there is essentially as this embankment, okay, or as this embankment is filled, okay, as this fill occurs, what it's showing is essentially where if this was to continue down, obviously where the land would meet it over here, it's basically showing where our embankment is meeting the surface, okay, of the land, okay? That's basically what's happening here. Once you have this actually done, what you do then is you simply sketch in along the points. So I'm going to speed up the video there now for that. Okay, 
So there we have it. That is essentially that sorry the area being filled up to the level height, which is at 60 meters for the road. Now, obviously, if you had um, the land or sorry the drawing con continued on, you'd have to do it at the opposite side. Now, the way we show a fill is by using this thing known as tadpoling. Now, if you imagine, I'll just come over here to kind of like if you imagine I've done a cut profile here through the road, and if you imagine at the very very top of the road here, I was to put a ball right there like that. A little ball well obviously due to gravity the ball is going to roll down the hill in that direction there so what we have to do is we have to show that on our drawing over here and it's often known as tadpoling so in the case of the ball traveling down for fills if we were to put a series of footballs like that there the direction they're going to go is down the hill so usually what you do is a little tail like that try to be a little bit neater than I was there but that is otherwise known as because they look like tadpoles okay and that is the way we do it for a fill it's going to roll away from the road okay so that's the first question there done guys what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to question two at the top right of the page okay right folks so for question two on this page it says the map shows ground contours at five meter vertical intervals okay and our scale is one is to a thousand okay so the first thing i would always do once again kind of work out that little magic number that we're going to need so this time in comparison to the other question uh, the space in between our vertical intervals is five okay so our scale one is two thousand as always so one millimeter on our sheet so i'm going to say os for on sheet is to 1000 millimeters in reality ir okay so you can see that there i'll pull it down a little bit and what we have to do now is we're going to use the distance between what we have to work up to is our five meter vertical intervals now we know 1000 millimeters is equal to one meter so what do i need to multiply that by to make five meters okay so obviously 1000 times five will be 5000 meters or sorry 5000 millimeters which we know is equal to five meters. So if I multiply that by five, I also must multiply this by five. So that's going to be our magic number there that we're working with on our sheet, five millimeters. Now we're going to read the rest of the question, okay? So it says here, AB is the center line of a proposed roadway, which is level at an altitude of 55 meters. Okay, so once again, I'd always put that in just to give myself a little guide. So level, at 55 meters okay just to have that in there level at 55 meters now it also says using side slopes of one in one for embankments or fills as that's known as so that fill ratio is one is to one complete the artworks necessary to accommodate the roadway and obviously you can see in this time we're going to have to do both the north side and the south side of the roadway so our fill ratio which is our embankments so our fill ratio is equal to one is to one so what that means essentially is applying the five millimeters to that what that essentially means is for five meters or five millimeters okay so we'll work with meters for every five meters i travel down from the height of the road so from 55 down to 50 that means i'm also going to travel out five meters okay so that's what's important here but on our sheet we know that's actually millimeters so that's what's important so looking up here we obviously have the road is at a height of 55 meters and what this means is once again cut profile it's like i took a section through the road and that's the height it's shown of the road the road is at a height of 55 and the land is down here so we have to fill it up to that land and our scale is one is to one so it's a nice handy scale for every five meters i travel down i'm also going to travel out five meters so let's say five meters was down there like that okay so i'll put that in 55 take five this is obviously going to be at a height of 50. so for five five meters i travel down i also have to travel out five meters so and here's our triangle and that's five meters out okay but it's at a height of 50 meters okay and that's what's important to note there so at a height of 50 meters i travel out five meters as well so the next five meters will be down at 45 
and once again I'm going to mark out this time I've gone down 5 10 so this time I have to mark out 5 10 and this will obviously continue on I've probably done a bit better sketching there but you get the idea so remember now we're looking down in the bird's eye view of this road so we cannot see the distance it's traveling down the road but we can see the distance it's traveling away from the road so what we're going to do is we're going to be plotting out uh, our 50 meter contour okay at uh, measuring out five millimeters for the 45 we're going to measure out 10 for the 40 we're going to measure out 15 and so on okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do that parallel with the edge of the road so putting in our heights i'm going to keep them over here on the right hand side or sorry the left hand side so at this height here it's at 55 and i'm going to measure out just looking at my measurements here if the lowest okay on this side of the road is 25 i'm just thinking what is it i'm looking at my contours here so 30 is my lowest okay so put those in about down to 30 so i'll mark them there so five millimeters down so that'd be 50 45 <clears throat> uh, 50 45 40 35 and then finally 30. okay so it's important to note those write them in 50, 45, 40, 35, and 30. So there we have them. Now what we have to do is we actually have to just plot those points. So I'll start with the southern side of the road. So for the 50 line, I'm just going to come over. I'm going to mark on the 50s, the 50 contours. So I've got a mark there and a mark there if you want to keep it neat and tidy. At the 45 height, which is here, I'm going to mark it here and here. Just seeing, is there any others? Okay, just following the contours. Next one is at the 40, so I'll mark it here and here. And the next one is at the 35, so I'll mark it here and here. And the final one is at the 30, so it's going to mark it there and there and i assume actually this one isn't drawn in but i'm actually going to put it in i'd imagine it's still going downwards okay so i'm just going to imagine it's the 25 so i'll mark down another five meters and i'm going to mark that one there okay i'll just put in 25 here and what's important to note is the 55 meter contour is going to meet the road right there as well okay now as you can see i could have just to show you there and i'll use the 50 as an example i could have just done a line across like that okay and just marked exactly on the 50 one then but just for the purpose of keeping this neat and tidy i just marked based on where i saw the contours so there's them ones okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the exact same on the top half of the road so same concept i'm going to mark up in distances of five millimeters which we know in reality is five meters so 55 50 45 40 35 30 25 so same thing this side of the road is 55 so then i have 50 45 40 35 30 and 25 so this time i'll actually do the lines just so you can see it so at the 50 project my line across 45 the exact same just plot my points after as long as you keep it neat and tidy it doesn't matter for the sake of this video i've obviously been using pens but you will be using pencils okay so as you can see there i've got a series of lines it's just a case of understanding which is which so the 55 there's a point right there at the next one it's on the 50 so here and here you can see where this is going 45 i'll keep continuing on this side this one is going to be at the 40 just follow it there 35 and 30 and then working backwards again 45 40 35 30 25 right there okay so what i have to do now is i have to sketch in 
that kind of profile of where the embankments are meeting the land as obviously as it continued on down okay so i'm going to speed up the video there while i do that Okay, so as you can see there guys, uh, I just sketched in obviously where the uh, embankment or the fill was hitting the uh, topography of the land and I did it on the north side of the road as well. But also you can see here I've put in my tadpoles. So once again, imagine a ball, okay, that was up here on the road, it obviously has to roll down the hill. So if you think of the road here, it has to roll away from the road, okay, on both sides. So if you have it going this way, it has to be going the opposite way on the other side. It's like it's axial symmetry and it's inverted, okay? So that's the second question done there, guys. We're going to move on to the bottom left of the page now and move on to the third question. Right folks, so in this third question here, it says the map shows ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals, uh, our scale is 1 is to 1000, so once again, magic number, okay, you probably get a little bit quicker in this, uh, or the more you do it, so 1 millimeter, okay, we know on our sheet, so OS is to 1000 millimeters in reality, IR. Now, the distance between our contours is 5, okay, 5 meters. So to work up to that, 1,000 meter millimeters is equal to 1 meter. So we need to multiply that by 5, which will give us 5,000 millimeters. And if we multiply this by 5, we also need to multiply this by 5 as well. So 5 millimeters, once again, is our um, kind of magic number that we're going to be using. So continuing on. We're going to read it on here. So it says AB is the center line of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 75 meters. So level at 75 meters. Okay. And it says then, so I'll actually put that in down here. So if you imagine this is a kind of profile cut through the road. So that's 75 meters high. It also says then, using side slopes of 1 in 2 for the embankment, so our fill ratio is a little bit different uh, this time, so our fill ratio is equal to 1 is to 2. Now, using 5 as our magic number, remember the first one is the distance we travel down, on the opposite side is the distance we travel out. So I'll put a little arrow for down there. And for this one, it's the distance we travel out from the road. This really is the important one. So, for every 5 meters, okay, so 5 times 1 is 5. However, 5 times 2 is 10. So, what that means is, for every 5 meters I travel down, okay, distance, so from 75 down to 70, that means that I have to travel out, away from the road, 10 meters. So, just to put that in, so I'm going to mark down, let's say that was at 5 meters there. So that's now at a height of 70 meters on our contour line. But that distance out, okay, needs to be doubled. So for that out, if you imagine double that there, I'm going to put a little mark there, to there. That's how far we actually need to travel out. So as you can see here, our fill now has a much um, kind of, uh, less sharp gradient okay it's obviously not as sharp as the previous one so the angle in here would be maybe something like 30 degrees in comparison to the previous question where it was 45 so it often has to do with the road type how high it is and then obviously the the material that you're filling it with as well okay so that can actually change the embankment ratio or the fill ratio so once again just to continue on with that so if we travel down another five meters Okay, so at this stage now, there's another 5 meters. Now we're down to a height of 65 meters on the road. But what that means now is, for another 5 meters, we're down 10. Okay, that means we would have to go out 20. So there's that one, that one. That was the initial 10. And we're going to have to do that distance out again. 5, 10. So it would continue on, like that. And what we've essentially done is, that distance right there, is 10 traveled out 10 plus another 10 okay 
we've traveled down 10 but out 20 okay so once again if you look at it here so the first one we went down 5 and out 10 second one we go down 10 but out 20 at the third one you will go 15 and 30 and so on okay and that's how it is done and that will continue on until obviously we meet the land so that's what we're going to have to do to basically complete this question guys so a little bit different there just in the sense of the fill ratio so it's very important to take note of that so what we're going to do is we know the road is at a height of 75 meters so I'm going to put that in I'm going to keep it on the left hand side of my page uh, sorry it's also say complete the artworks necessary to accommodate the roadway so that's grand I'm going to do it here on the left hand side of my page um, I'll also do it up here on the north side so 75 75 and we know we are measuring this time out it's not five millimeters because it's the distance out remember as we look down on top the bird's eye view we would only we don't see the distance we travel down in the bird's eye view but we see the distance we travel out so we know we're traveling out 10 meters which is 10 millimeters on our sheet okay so from the side there I'm going to measure up distances of 10 and 10 I've only room for two on that side and then here I'm going to measure down as many as I need just making little marks there just so I know where they are Put another one in don't think I need all of them so at this point right here I have the little dot that's at my 70 and then at this point that's at my 65 likewise here 70 65 I think it goes down as far as 50 so 60 55 and 50 so as 50 is as far as I need to go uh, on the bottom side of the road I'll start with that so at the 70s I'm going to make a mark there so you can see here I'll just do the line actually and I can see I only need to go in as far as here for the 65 I need this one and this one so it's going to go to there as well for the 60 I only have that guy there for the 55 and then finally for the 50 okay and I assume that is the 45 so I will continue it on I'm just going to assume that the road is continuing down so I put in my 45 there as well so as you can see at the 70 that passes through you can see my contour of the 70 here so that's going to pass through right there and there forgot to say the 75 we actually don't have it so my 65 is here and here and then my 60 is here and you can see where it was continuing on back I would have had maybe a point over here but we just do what's on the sheet the 55 is here the 50 is here and I'm going to assume that there was a 45 over here so that would have continued on to there now we do the same at the top side of the road so we can only see the 70 and then also the 65 and that gives us two points there so sorry 70 here and finally 65 here and here so once again guys I'm going to quickly sketch in that profile north and south of the road of, of where the embankments are hitting okay so I'll quickly do that okay so there we have it guys that there is the earthworks done on the uh, embankments here uh, otherwise known as fills and as you can see as well once again I put in my little tadpoles in the direction that the ball would roll away from the road going down the hill okay um, that's the question three done there guys so what we're going to do now is move on to the final question on this page which is on the bottom right question four okay right folks so for the last question on this page uh, what it actually says is the map shows ground contours at five meter vertical intervals uh, scale one is to a thousand so as always let's work out our magic number so one millimeter we can see where this is going so on sheet OS is to 1000 millimeters in reality IR 
and our vertical intervals are sorry the space in between our contours is 5 so we need to work up to that 5 meters so what do I multiply this by? I multiply it by 5 to make 5 meters so 5,000 millimeters would be 5 meters so if I multiply this by 5 I also need to multiply this so 5 millimeters is kind of our magic number um, it also says AB is the central line of a, pros, of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 80 so level at 80 meters okay and then it says using side slopes of 1 in 1.5 for the embankments okay so a little bit different here our fill ratio once again is 1 is to 1.5 so for every 1 meter I'll put in a little arrow above it here for every 1 meter I travel down I'm going to travel out 1.5 meters so let's work it out 5 is our magic number 5 times 1 is 5 so for every 5 meters I travel down I'm going to travel out 5 times 1.5 which actually works out at 7 and a half meters 7.5 meters so that's kind of our magic number if I travel down 10 meters I multiply 5 uh, sorry 10 by 1.5 which would be 15 meters and so on okay so that's what we do we use that ratio to apply it so bring it to our road here if you imagine it was a cut section of our road we know that's at 80 a level height of 80 so for every five meters I travel down so let's say that's down five meters so that's now at a height of 75 another five meters would be at 70 I'll just put these in to have them done okay so height of the road is 80 I've traveled down five but for traveling down five I have to move out 7.5 so if you imagine there was that same distance out mark it out another little bit so there there is my 7.5 that in properly there so there's my 7.5 out and same thing here I've gone down 10 so I need to also travel out now 15 so that was 7.5 take the same distance out it's about there I'm guessing okay and that will continue on so what we will actually be putting in is this line here and this line here as I look down on top of them okay and that's what's important to note here okay so once again I'm going to plot in my points there so we know the road is at 80 here and 80 here so this one can be a little bit more awkward because we're working with half millimeters or sorry uh, half measurements so essentially what I'm doing is from the side of the road I'm measuring down 7.5 okay so I'm just thinking looking at my contours it goes down 75 70 65 60 my lowest is 55 okay so that's one two three four five I have to move down five steps five times 7.5 five, seven, 37 and a half okay so just to know that so I'm gonna mark down five times five measurements of seven and a half so to mark the first one pick as best you can okay you can see here my dark line which is on the 80 is in between my 7 and my 8 millimeter mark so I'll mark that down then the next one I'm going to just do it at 15 so I'll mark that down try and be as accurate as you possibly can obviously it's a little bit easier if you're using pens I'm sorry pencils I should say so once again I'm going to mark 7.5 from the previous one this time I'll mark 30 so every second one I'll be able to do it exactly so 30 and finally the last one will be at 7.5 once again just to have them done so I have little marks here they're all 7.5 apart okay put my numbers in so 75 for fills you'll be working down in numbers away from the road 75 70 65 60 and 55 and having done it at the bottom of the road I now need to do it up at the top so mark here 7.5 it's right there then 15 just looking at that just seeing how much so I've 80 is there and there of contour over that here sorry 80 I've actually two contours so 80 is here and here sorry 
then this one is 75 and 75 this one is at 65 and 65 so I think I only need two of them there so 75 and 70 yep okay just making sure that so I've 75 here and then 70 so I'll start with the top of the road and this time I put them in completely so going across 75 across to the 75 over there just hidden here and then finally 70 which is going to be inside here there we have it so plotting my points 80 contour hits the road right here and also hits the road over here and then the 75 contour okay let's work it out it's actually hitting on this one sorry and then follow it up it's hitting right here and then the 71 just follow it up yep there's our 70 there we have it and then 65 no 60 no so I know I'm good there this was the 75 so I'm happy with that now I'll start doing the bottom side of the road so I'm going to use my lines this time just going the whole way across and we're down as far as the 55 this time so I'll start at the 55 and work my way up so 55 here the next one is going to be 60 here and here then I've got 65 as I'm working back up towards the road then I've got 70 70 just making sure then I've got 75 and 75 and finally 80 and then the 80 here so once again quickly going to speed up the video while I sketch that in Okay, so there you have it guys, um, that is the final question completed on that page. Um, as you can see guys, on the top half of the road, we only needed to fill up a certain little portion of it, and it was the same here on the bottom half of the road. So obviously the land here was a lot higher and closer to the height that we wanted the road at. We want the road at a height of 80, and we can see the lowest contour it was kind of going across then was obviously the 55. So we didn't have to travel down as deep as we did maybe in other questions, okay? So it's essentially like saying the land was somewhere there along like that, and we have to work down to the land. And that there is where where we are going to fill and that's kind of like where we're cutting through our land if you think of oblique planes where the traces are left behind this is essentially what our traces are when we're doing fills okay so that's just a little bit there guys on the earthworks embankments as i said otherwise known as fills okay hope you found that helpful guys that is the question complete okay